dear students in this video we are going to discuss about the air sampling methods now in the previous videos we have discussed about the aseptic area sterile area clean rooms how to control the air and how to control the contamination now although we are controlling the contamination but still due to the processing the personnel there may be contamination inside the room which will be present in the air so that contamination will be monitored by doing some test and for these tests we are supposed to have the air so in this air sampling method the very first method comes is the electronic air particle counter here these counters are specifically used to determine the number of particles or microbes these are counted per cubic feet this will classify the cleanliness of a particular room or the area electronic counters can count air particles microbes but they cannot differentiate between viable and non viable microorganism so for that purpose we are supposed to go for the other method so first such method is the settle plate method now this settle plate method is nothing but a sedimentation method and it is based on the principle of sedimentation of the microorganisms or the bacteria on a particular plate now in this picture we can see one plate which is having agar medium and such open plates are exposed to the atmosphere in the sampling area for a predetermined period that is 30 to 60 minutes so these plates after in uh, exposure these plates are incubated at 30 to 37 degree celsius for 48 hours and the colonies which will be present on these plates these will be counted this method is very simple method and it is inexpensive so it is most commonly used method for testing of the air in the critical areas the major disadvantage of this method is only those microorganisms which are adhering to this plate these are going to be only counted and others will not be counted now the next method is the slit air sample so this type of instrument will be used this method is better than slit uh, settle plate method it is efficient for detection of even small particles here the slit air is sampled with the help of uh, aperture or entry of 0.25 mm width and the air is passed on to the media plate which is present here and this will this instrument will be also providing the counting of the particles as well as the microorganisms so this method here known volume of the air is coming on to the culture medium and this plate is being mechanically rotated in order to ensure uniform distribution of the organisms over this plate and 1 cubic feet of the air is allowed to pass through this slit and likewise 10 cubic feet of air is tested the culture media is then incubated and the number of microorganisms are counted and they are tallied with the standard factor then point comes is the liquid impinger now this is one of the uh, liquid impinger which will be allowing the air sample to enter this will be inlet and it will be allowing the measured volume of nutrient broth will be present here and the microorganisms will be held in this uh, micro uh, broth and these broth will be then 
incubated and the number of microorganisms inside this are counted next comes is the centrifugal air sampler now this is a centrifugal air sampler here the airborne microorganisms approximately 6 inch above the sterile area these will be uh, checked and this uh, air is passing and it will be centrifuged approximately at 4000 to uh, 4200 rpm and the microbial particles are impacted at a high velocity onto the incubation and then the counting of microorganisms will be done now next is the surface sampling methods for surface sampling there are two methods one is the rodak plates and second is the swab rinse test now for the rodak plate you can observe that there is a uh, structure which will be allowing us to count the microorganisms in this particular area here we can see the different markings so these marking are helpful when there is a growth or there are the colonies these can be counted with the help of this Uh, markings so here specifically it is a convex surface petri plate used and it will be again this plate is possible to roll or uh, raised agar surface it will be having the agar surface which will be con convex surface and this flat or irregular surface will be tested over is for surface contamination this type of rodak plates will be used or second me method is the swab rinse test here with the help of a bud cotton bud the sample is taken from the surface this cotton swab will be sterile cotton swab and it will be used to take the sample and then this particular swab material will be allowed to grow on the culture media and this will be kept on the solid plate so that we can have the determination now this uh, the purpose of this environment control is to have the monitoring of the contamination to minimize the contamination then the lesser potential of contamination will give us the assurance that our product is sterile and safe one the sterility test can be also used to confirm the uh, sterility of the product next comes is the bacterial uh, examination of the environment here four methods are used that is air centrifugation swift plate dust sampling and interpretation so first one is the air centrifugation this involves the principle of centrifugation which we have already uh, seen in the previous slide the similar is used on the air is allowed to have the centrifugation of the particles on a culture media and then these will be uh, sampling strip will be removed from it and the instrument from that instrument and it will be incubated at 37 degree celsius for 48 hours and the colonies are counted however this method is less efficient for the particles which are less than 5 micron in size this method is inferior to the slit sampler method then next comes is the swip plate method here to have the detection of organisms from the uh, clothing then bed clothes curtains so this type of uh, sampling will be done with the, this type of method that here open culture plate will be taken and it will be swipped that is sweeping of the plate 8 to 10 times on the dusty surface which will be having swab sealed nutrient broth and culture and it will be again incubated and colonies will be counted after overnight uh, incubation then next comes is the dust sampling here either we can have the sampler on the body surface or the clothing of the personnel or we can have the moisture cotton wool swabs that can be uh, used for collection of the dust from the floor wall and furniture like the swab test it will be also collecting the dust 
from the floors walls and the furnitures which were present in the critical areas the swabs are then placed in the broth as well as we can go for use of robertson cooked meat media and then incubation will be done and the subculturing on the plates is done so as to have the organism identification as well this is used for routine reviewing of the all the processes in the critical areas and it will be also having demonstration of the spores of the clostridium titani and for the other species then if there is a positive fumigation there then we can have the closing report that it has you have to continue that procedure till the negative results are obtained from this the next comes is the interpretation now most bacteria which are found in the air are harmless that is uh, saprophytes or commensals are present in the air but about 1% of airborne organisms in the wards or in the closed rooms are harmful so streptococcus may be found in large number that is 10% cubic feet in a room which is occupied by a, a per patient which is having the infection of streptococci so uh, such patient can have the transmission of streptococcal uh, virus uh, bacteria species in case of scarlet fever also such type of transfer of organism is possible staph aureus is a predominant airborne organism that is 0.1 to 10 organisms per cubic feet air are uh, present and if one man get infected and if he inhales only one mycobacterium tuberculosis in 500 cubic feet air then also he is going to respire that microorganism within 24 hours so air contamination standards we are supposed to maintain that is operation theaters and etc should not should have not more than 10 cubic uh, 10 organisms per cubic feet not more than that 10 then dressing room operation theaters for neurosurgery and theaters burn patients for this the bacterial count should not exceed one um, organism per cubic feet and the factories offices home should have the count below 50 microorganisms or 50 species per cubic feet this air standards we are supposed to maintain throughout in different types of areas thank you